it says you can increase the dad's liquor cabinet. <laughs> Mix it with uh, rum, vodka, whiskey. Yes. Create a unique drinking experience done such as this. Here's to a unique drinking experience. Here, here. Hey guys, welcome to Friday Night Live for April the 27th. Dominic. Yes. Lovely. No FMJ on it yet? No, not yet. No. About to go on. It's still looking good. Yeah. That, um, I bet a lot of people would think that would be in really good nick. Mm. I just kept beautiful. Yeah. No idea. Under a cover I mean, it was, it was in no, good it was, condition. Yes. We shouldn't say that the guy has a car in bad condition, yeah. but um, it was uh, cosmetically, like detailing wise, it really needed a birthday. Yep, yep. That's come up really, really well. Yep. Um, we did a lot of little things to it, like the little, uh, I haven't pulled out those little pads for a while. They're tiny little drill mounted yep. um, pads that we don't sell, they're just a something we made up that we didn't think would sell in high enough numbers to make to manufacture yep. or to mass produce um, but yeah that came out that I did a lot of work on this actually all the rear tail lights uh, little indica indicators of brake calipers um, yeah just any, anything that was acrylic little glossy acrylic trim yep looks stunning and that orange interior mamma mia what are we talking about today Dom the matter that is dark. Oh yeah. Dark matter is my favourite product, do you know that? I do. You know I like that more than FMJ? <laughs> Every, everyone likes that. FMJ because they like paint protection, but yep. and we use it mostly because it is a better product for what we need it to do, which is to protect paint, right? It, it's the best paint protection we have. One yep. of the I honestly believe it's the best paint protection anywhere in the world. Um, which is why people around the world buy it. But um there's something about dark matter that's Maybe because I'm a detailer, and I like just things mm. to be as glossy as they can yeah. be, or as deep and as rich yep, as they yep. can be. Um, and dark matter just gives you that a little bit of that edge. Yeah, it gives um, you that pop. <laughs> yeah, it's got. I don't know what is it. it had the, you know, the, you know the way I describe it, which yeah. I think is best. It gives it like a jelly yeah. look to it, which yep. is classic Canuba. That really. Uh, that sort of wet. Yeah, yeah. jelly bean looking, yep. and you know why a jelly bean looks the way it does? Because it's, it's coated in canuba. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, dark matter is a synthetic with canuba ingredients, so it has that canuba look to it, even though it has a synthetic base, which gives it a bit more protection than a canuba would. Yep. Um, which is why we call it a hybrid. A lot of people don't know what a hybrid is. Um, should we explain the difference between a hybrid, uh, hybrid, a canuba, and a synthetic? I think so. Yeah. So it's a hybrid, which means it's a blend of synthetic and natural waxes. Uh, far, uh, full metal jacket is a uh, synthetic yep. and that's primarily the reason why it lasts so long because it's fully synthetic um, and it's the latest nano polymer technology so it has that very 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 durable very hard very um, flexible very uh, high chemical resistance and you just can't get that with with canubas. Canubas yep. generally I find last around about two to four weeks you get two weeks of pretty good performance and the next two weeks you can see it tapering off and yep. by about a month it's it's gone unless you get what we did which is by that fifteen eighteen thousand dollar tub of we are, yep. which lasted a few months that was actually pretty good um wasn't worth the money crazy money and they wouldn't refill it for me even though they told me they would refill it was it yeah they I thought you were supposed to get no they reneged or, uh, yeah they reneged on their promise of uh, providing a refill I only asked for one refill um i ended up giving that away customers just don't want a uh a product that lasts um three to four months at best especially for the price that we had to charge for that kind for of product the, yeah. Um, so we gave that tub away to a really good customer. Um, we placed and we replaced it with dark matter, which is a synthetic and has some canuba ingredients in it. Therefore, it's a hybrid. Uh, benefit of uh, canuba is that it has that canuba look to it. Yep. The benefit of this synthetic ingredients are that it has the durability and the longevity and the chemical resistance. Um, and you don't get the best of both worlds, but you get a nice, a nice happy medium. Yep. Um, and for that reason, oh, and because we've had some chemicals that uh, what we call color charging, so it, it um, gives you a kind of a richness to blacks and reds and anything dark, any dark color really, it just gives you more depth of color, yep. more than any other wax that I've seen. Um, and if it's uh, like the F40 that we always, we always use it for, it's not used that much, it's actually he drives it in the rain and <laughs> 
<laughs> that actually does, does get used. <laughs> but it's enough, you know, it comes out maybe half a dozen times a year. Yep. Um, it's washed after each use, and it's, um, yeah, it gets a total of maybe 500 k's a year. So for the amount of use it gets and the type of use it gets, dark matter is plenty of protection for that thing. Yep. And it looks so much better for having dark matter on it than it would if it had spray wax or paint protection or any of our other compounds on it. Yep. Um, so I hope that explains dark matter and the difference between the two. And we have a discount on dark matter this month. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> Of uh, 25% actually. 25%? 25%. Are you, yeah. you sure? 25%? No, I think it's the alcohol. No, okay. Yeah. But we're going to do it anyway. Have another drink. <laughs> I've said it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll have a, we'll create some kind of discount code <laughs> that we'll put here. Yep. Um, so customers can get 25% off Dark Matter so they can see what that's like. I did have a question from a customer about leather feed, which we talked about in a few episodes back. Yep. Um, and I thought we'd touch on it again because it, it, we, we didn't mention it because I didn't think to mention it. But anyway, uh, he asked about um, a particular leather feed that he was recommended that didn't seem to work for his leather. Okay. He just happens to have a very, very new car. And I'm not sure if this is the reason for it or not, but I just thought I'd mention if you are using leather feed and you're, you've got a very, very new car because the leather manufacturers are constantly tweaking the coatings that they have on leather. And if you're wondering why your leather has a coating, most mass-produced vehicles have polyurethane coated leather. Some cars, like my Lexus, has, a, <laughs> has a semi-aniline leather, but most cars have polyurethane coated leather. When you're cleaning the leather, you're actually cleaning the polyurethane coating on top. You're not actually touching the leather, uh, which a lot of people don't, don't know. Okay. Um, and you have to make sure that the feeder that you use, the leather cleaner doesn't matter so much, but efficient cleaner would, will be best and something that won't break down that coating would be best. Um, but the feeder you use, especially for the newest coating, should be water-based and you have to make sure that it's compatible with that top layer. If it goes through the coating but blocks the pores that are um, allowing access to the leather, so allowing you to hydrate the leather, then you can really only hydrate it once and then yep. that, that's it. Um, and the leather would degrade significantly um, because you've blocked the pores, you have to make sure that the leather feeder is compatible with that top layer. Yep. So speak to the manufacturer about what leather feed um, you're using, about that, their, their product, and speak to the manufacturer of your vehicle and make sure that those two products that you're using are compatible. Yep. Um, and I found it really difficult to get information about yeah. You ask a dealer about what type of polyurethane coating is on a particular vehicle they have in the showroom, and they have no idea. Mm. That in, the last guy I asked, he said polyura what? Yeah, he had say it's leather. He said it's leather, <laughs> yeah. and I said, yeah, it's, it's polyurethane. It's PU-coated leather. Um, can you find out any information? Can you get back to me with any information? And he didn't do a bar, which I kind of understand because it's, it's, it's a lot of... Um, uh, a lot of time that you'd have to spend trying to get that information to me and I wasn't there to buy a car or anything yeah. so I kind of understood um, and I, I, I was honest with him I said I'm not buying a car I'm just uh, interested in the coding for uh, uh, customers um, so I couldn't find out much information for this particular customer but I've understood that he's in touch with the manufacturer now he bought a $300,000 car so hopefully they treat him like a customer oh, who yeah. buys a $300,000 car <laughs> and get all the information he needs um, back to them. Um, we also said that we're 100% sure because we're familiar with this manufacturer and we know what coatings they use on this particular type of car. Yep. So we were 100% sure that uh, leather feed will be compatible with that particular type of coating. And we don't know of any mass-produced vehicle that leather feed has an issue with. So uh, leather feed was updated nearly 12 months ago. Yeah. Yeah has a water-based uh, formula now and is compatible with pretty much every polyurethane coated. And I say pretty much because I'm unaware of any that it shouldn't be. Yep. Um, but yeah, an important one, a good question too. Um, another thing, I've heard about protection for leather or sealing mm. a leather seat. Yeah. That's a very uh, bad idea, I assume. Uh, let's word it correctly. That was on a sale, I should the stop that. <laughs> In my opinion, you cannot seal a leather seat um, with a once-off uh, product that's designed to, to last a lifetime. Like, yep. yeah. So 
uh, when we developed the previous leather feed, we went to Italy and spoke to some people over there uh, that know their shit. <laughs> and yeah. they said to us, they explained to us that you could, and we, we asked about these because they were very, very new. This is 10 years ago, and they were, re or 2010, eight, eight years ago. They were very, very new products, but we said, we've heard about these, we really want to get onto this because how, how cool would it be if we could offer a once only application yep. for our customers. Yep. Uh, and these people were just providing advice. They weren't selling us product. We weren't being supplied raw materials from them or anything. So they had no, um, uh, I don't know, so they, there's no, they had no financial gain over selling. Yeah, yeah, there's no vested interest in, yep. in them giving us um, misinformation, right? Yep. And their honest opinion, and once they spent a good 45 minutes or so explaining to me how leather works, I understood yep. why, why you couldn't seal leather. You need leather to breathe, so unfortunately, the downside is you have to constantly feed it, which is, it's, it's another thing to do, you know, so it's not nice. Yep. The upside is you can get a quality product that that will cost two dollars per application and takes about five minutes to do. Yep. It takes me five minutes to feed my car. There's shitloads of leather in my car. Yep. Um, I keep it kind of clean, but I'm not over the top with it. Yep. Um, got some kids and they they dirty it, so it's not. It's not like it's a car that no one ever sits in or used. You've seen my car. It's yep. that's things used. It takes me literally five, no more than five minutes to feed the whole car, and usually about. 10 to 15 minutes twice a year to clean it. Something like that. I should do it more often. Yeah. But um, yeah, it doesn't take that much time. It doesn't cost that much money. So um, that's, that's, I guess, a, go a good thing. Yep. Yeah, it's easy to do and cost effective. Um, but yeah, good question too, actually. Are people still washing the cars with buckets? I don't know. Should we say that? Don't wash your car with a bucket. People still washing cars with foam? Don't wash your cars with foam. <laughs> um, we're going to get questions now for next week. <clears throat> Why shouldn't I wash my car with a yeah. bucket? Why shouldn't I wash my car with foam? Um, and we probably should cover that again next week. No. You think? <laughs> I don't think we can cover it enough. No. I oh, seriously okay. I don't think we can I don't think we can go on about no buckets and uh, no foam enough. We should probably mention um, uh, how to clean exhausts because we've got this thing here. Yes. And we captured some video um, because some customers have seen me do it or they've asked about it. Um, how to keep exhausts clean. This yep. these, this thing just pumps out exhaust yep. um, exhaust dust. Um, uh, yeah, so I have a lot of customers that ask, you know, how do I easily, quickly, cost effectively keep the exhaust clean without having to, you know, do dirty kind of processes. Um, and I always say it's easy, just put some wheel cleaner in the exhausts or around the exhaust tips or inside the exhaust tips. Um, every time you clean the car, which is a, you know, every time you do the wheels, spray wheel cleaner in the exhaust tips. Yep. If you've got a separate brush you want to use or the wheel brush is not a big deal, use the wheel brush at the end or use a separate wheel brush to put, get it inside the tip to agitate the, yep. the wheel cleaner. Um, then rinse it out really thoroughly. But then what you should do, which you'll see here, is give the um, give the engine a couple of revs and push the uh, push all that water out of the and any chemical that might uh, might be left behind get that out of the exhaust um, out of wherever that might be muffler um, exhaust system even yep. if it's just sitting in the tip somewhere but just blow all that out as much as possible to avoid that water collecting especially in the muffler and rusting out the muffler yep. um, so. Yeah, we don't do that because we're stupid hoons. Hmm. We, do, we, do that, we do that for a reason. Yeah, a if you ever have an FI, you see us revving a car. It's usually um, just a couple of blips to get um, exhaust out. Don't rev it real high when it's cold like a douche. Yeah, you don't need to. You just need to. Yeah, well, really, you need it to be quick, quick and, blips. Yeah. Like you need to load it up and get some pressure yeah. to push it out. Yeah. So you don't don't gradually build revs because no, that's that that's a waste. Yeah. yeah. But just get a couple of quick just blips. Sharp. Yeah. That's it. Yep. All right, we covered that one. That's it. That's important though. That's important. If you leave them in there, um, and I should credit the guy who told me because that's not my idea. Yep. Um, a guy I was working with at Phillip Island, a mechanic who used to work on the driver training cars for BMW. We used to wash the cars at night after driver training was done, yep. put the cars away, and then the next morning they would use the car so water would sit in the exhaust um, overnight, overnight, every single night um, for those poor cars. Yep. And he noticed that um, there were some issues with rust. Yep. Um, and he eventually worked out it was because of, uh, because of the water sitting in the, the mufflers. Those, they were mostly M3s and they had that long 
canister yeah. just tucked into the rear bar. Yep. Uh, and water got in there. They had a really short uh, bit of um, pipe that went. Tail pipe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, the distance between it, so the tip and the, the muffler was real short. Water yep. would get straight in there and sit at the bottom of the. And it was, it was an easy fix. You just, a yep. uh, few blips, the water was out. Um, yeah, and also it heated up everything as well yep. and just helped to keep everything dry. Makes a big difference. I think we covered a fair bit in this. I think we have. We should give it a rest. Yeah. I don't think they want to hear us that much. No. No. Okay. Well, that's it for Friday, April the 27th. We'll see you next time, guys. See you guys. Bye.